welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to talk about my New Year's resolutions. Now, I know this is the time of year where everyone goes, okay, now in January, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna be healthy, I'm gonna quit this, I'm gonna quit that. Now, me personally, I'm quite an organised person, so when New Year comes, I do like to make a New Year's resolution. And in past years, I've sort of always given them up. Like, I know it's bad, but this year, I've got three things in mind that I really, really want to do for the New Year. And my heart actually is set on it. Do you know what I mean? Like, this is the first time I actually feel really passionate about doing these three. So, I thought if I do a video about it, so every time I go onto my YouTube account, I can always see, um, are you keeping up with that? Do you know what I mean? So, I thought I'd do this video and probably give you guys an idea because New Year's resolutions ain't bad. They genuinely ain't. Everyone does it and we all hear everyone and we're like, oh, here we go, New Year, new me. But it's positive. Don't, don't, let anyone say, oh, here we go, it's only a New Year fandom thing. No, if you want to do a positive change in your life, then do it. You don't need a New Year to do it. But for me, I am one of those people that if I start something new, I know it's weird. It has to be on a Monday or in the New Year and stuff like that. Do you know what I mean? I, I stick to it a bit more. I don't know, it's so weird. But I can never start a diet on a Saturday. Never, ever, ever. It always has to be on a Monday. And guess what? New Year's Day is on a Monday. So, New Year's Day is on a Monday and it's a brand spanking New Year. So, I've picked three things that I want to stick to and I'm going to stick to them. First, revol revolution or resolution. It's resolution, isn't it? Makeup revolution. What is wrong with me? So, my first resolution is I want to stop swearing. Now, I actually got really good at stop swearing years ago. Like I come from like pretty chavy background, all my family swear like in every other sentence. And it doesn't necessarily mean it needs to be done in a hatred way, it's more passionate. And that's where it comes from with me. I swear to sort of show the passion because I feel like when you swear, when you say something, it means wow. She, she really means it, do you know what I mean? Which shouldn't be the case at all because swearing is not ladylike at all i don't care what anyone says okay we're all different but me personally i don't like swearing and i hate it when i do it like i'll swear and then straight away i'm like did i really need to swear then do you know what i mean and i it would kill me if my daughter started swearing around me now i don't swear around my daughter a lot but sometimes it will slip out and then i do think wow how can i expect a behavior from her if i can't keep it myself do you know what i mean i that's my First New Year's resolution, stop swearing. I am pretty good at it in the sense as in like, if I hit myself or I hurt myself, I go sugar. So I'm already developing it. It's just I don't want to go effing anymore. Like, is she taking the volume here? Do you know what I mean? I don't want to do that anymore. I want to be a bit more like a lady. Number two, I want to give, no, not a want, I am giving up red meat forever. Now, the reason why I want to stop having red meat is for one, it's not actually that good for you. Like, there is a certain level of protein and all that lot, and it's obviously good because I suffer with anemia, so it's good for your iron levels and that. But there's so many, like spinach is massive and baked beans and stuff like that. There's so many like substitutes you can use instead of red meat. I never buy red meat for the house. I only buy red meat for spaghetti bolognese. And even then, my daughter absolutely hates spaghetti bolognese. It's gonna be hard for me when I think of going out to a fancy dinner for if I wanna pick a steak, but I love lobster, I love fish, so it will be easy for me. And when I think of another item that I love, which is red meat, which is a cheeseburger meal from Classics in Birmingham, that is gonna probably be my hardest thing I'm gonna to have to like make sure I don't eat. Honestly, I'm being serious. Out of everything, I think that cheeseburger meal from Classics in Birmingham is gonna be the hardest thing that I'm not gonna be able to eat. But this is where the positive is. I love fish burger meals with curry sauce. So I'm giving up red meat completely. All I'm gonna eat is chicken and fish. That's it. No more red meat for the rest of my life. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. And last but not least, this is the easiest one. My third New Year's resolution is I want to do at least one YouTube video a week. Ideally, I'd like to do one every five days, 
but realistically I'm going to say one every week so that's my number three new year's resolution and I'm going to stick to it. Well, thank you so much for watching my video. Comment down below any of your New Year's resolutions. And then you know what? In a few months, we might I might do a recap video and see how I've gone. See if I've slipped up and that. But like I said, the hardest one for me is the meat. I'm not going to lie, but... It, I've, I've thought about what steps I'm going to take. Do you know what I mean? Like, firstly, I don't buy red meat in the house anyway. Only spaghetti bolognese. My daughter doesn't like spaghetti bolognese, so I can just like sort of cut that off and do a nice like vegetable pasta. I love vegetables, so that will help me. Do you know what I mean? But just sit down and think about something that you really want to do. It can be something so, so small. But one step and challenging yourself. That is the number one thing to do challenge yourself actually that should be my number four resolution challenge yourself no 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 i, I challenge myself every day anyway <laughs> but yeah so challenge yourself is actually a really really good thing so comment down below any new year's resolutions and in a few months time i could sort of recap and read out your new year's resolutions and see if you guys are sticking up to them as well well thank you so much for watching my video guys if you ain't already hit that button give a girl a support i hope you are all still enjoying your holidays and get ready for the new year's take care be kind Mwah. thank you